So I'm tearing into the, the 224 to uh, put the charging coil on it. I'm going to remove the low oil sensor and then the internals. And I don't know if I'm going to remove the governor yet or not, but I'm going to clean out the inside of the, uh, the engine case. So once you get the uh, side cover off and your wiring's off and everything, you need to uh, remove the two bolts that hold the coil on and get it out of the way. Now, if you don't know what to gap it to, before you remove it, you get yourself a feeler gauge and then you, uh, I think mine was gapped to like 20 or 22, but it was improperly gapped. It was, it was uneven, like it was tight on the bottom and then it had 20 thousandths on the top side. But just to give yourself a rough estimate, you know, measure it. On the magnet, turn turn the flywheel to where the magnet is lined up with the coil and measure it. That way you know what to gap it to. And chances are yours will be like mine. It'll be uneven and properly gapped, but good enough to run. Now you'll need a 21 millimeter deep well socket or a regular 21 with an extension and an impact. And you'll just uh, zip that off of there. And then all this will come off. Now to get the uh, the flywheel off, you'll need a pry bar. And what you do is you you put the nut back on, just thread it on by hand, just to where it's almost flush. You want to hit the nut, not the uh, not the stud, the crankshaft end. So leave, leave it out, you know, just a little bit. And then what you'll do is you'll get your pry bar like uh, back in here like so. Pry gently. You don't want a whole lot of pressure. And then you smack this with a big hammer and it'll, it'll break it loose. And that's how you get the old flywheel off, the original flywheel. All right, so I've got the stock flywheel off. I've got the flywheel from the, the Heisen, the blown up Heisen 196. What I'm going to go ahead and do is test fit. Before I put the charging coils on, I'm going to go ahead and test fit the, uh, the Heisen flywheel. Make sure it's good. Uh, you might want to use like some lapping compound to put on there, some valve, valve lapping compound, whatever. Uh, but... After you make sure this fits good, you'll go ahead and put the charging coils on. It does have the uh, ears for them, so you'll be able to bolt them right on like that on those ears. And then this is the stock cooling fin off of the 224. And they're kind of kind of weak. So I have this smaller cooling fin, but then I'll have to put the smaller shroud off of like a 212 on it, which I would be okay with because it's black, so it'll all match, which is probably what I think I'm going to do anyway. Um, but I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Don't take my word on that. I, I'm not sure if it needs those extra cooling fins for the engine. It doesn't. I don't see why it would. But uh, that's where I'm at so far. All right, now when you got your coils bolted in, you'll uh, back this screw out just to just loosen it. That way you can swing this out of the way and tuck your um, your electrical wire back behind it. There's like a perfect spot for it right there that gives it plenty of room. It's not going to pinch it or nothing. And now we're ready to put the flywheel on. So we'll get that put on. And then you'll want to make sure that it's not 
um, interfering with your coils. So turn, make you know a couple rotations. Make sure that there's no clearance issues, and then from here you'll decide what you're going to do as to whether you're using the uh, the original um, cooling fin. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use uh, this smaller cooling fin. All right, so we got the the Heisen charging coils, flywheel cooling fins and then this cup you'll need the shorter cup if you're going to do the shorter fins so so uh, you don't want to use the shorter fins with the thicker housing because I think that can interfere with uh, the airflow and your your cooling so uh, you know if, if you if you want to use this uh, the red housing the, the original housing you have to use these cooling fins but what I'm going to do is, you know, I've got the, uh, the shorter cooling fins, the shorter cup, because the original cup is a lot longer, it would interfere. I've got the Heisen 196 housing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this pull start off and put on the Heisen housing. That way it's still got the sticker on it. I think that's cool because that will really be the only way you'll be able to tell this is, uh, you know, a, a 224 is the... Uh, the valve cover because I'm taking all this off. It's I'm not leaving this tank on it. Uh, the exhaust is going, the air box is going, and it's all coming off. And I'm putting other stuff on it. But it's going to be awesome. I'm pretty excited. So from here, what we'll do, you get this snug. And uh, actually, you, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. You got to torque this. Uh, you can look the torque specs up. I'm not sure what it is. Um, Sixty-eight. 70 I don't know 65 somewhere in there you want to torque this so now that I've got this torqued down what you want to do is just turn it and make sure that nothing's interfering you're going to want to be quiet when you turn it and you just go back and forth this this thing thing's rattling in here it's driving me crazy What is rattling, making all that noise? It's like there's something in the tank, but it's driving me crazy. So what I found was my wire just needed to be, when I went, right here uh it was catching the wire and i could hear it so what i did is i just you know you use a screwdriver position it so where you can get your finger in there or whatever and you just uh get your wire out of the way and then you'll make sure that it don't catch now i'm ready to do the coil and then the cover and the pull start and then i'm going to crack the back side of the case open and clean out the uh, clean out the shavings from the inside of the motor. Remove the low oil sensor, and I always recheck the rod the rod bolt uh, torque on these, just because you know we're going to disable the governor. We're going to be running at high RPMs. I've seen them back out from the stock head or the stock rod and uh, blow it, so I always just retorque them. All right, well, there is how you put charging coils and the smaller um, cooling fins, the smaller shroud, and the original pull start on the 224.